Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I am filming in my bedroom now because I can't film downstairs since my neighbor is making a ton of like noises in his garage, so it was just super loud downstairs. So I have to film here. So I'm sorry, please excuse the appearance of my bedroom. It is super bare bones. I moved into my place not that long ago and I haven't just got around to like designing my bedroom. That picture is literally just like resting on the headboard and I don't even have table lamps. Like I, I was going to actually design my bedroom before this whole COVID thing started, but then, you know, you have to like limit your spending and all the stores are closed. So I'm trying even like not to order things from Wayfair or Amazon that are home decor. But eventually when all of this stops, I do want to design my bedroom. So if you guys are interested in seeing a vlog about that, let me know because I am actually an interior designer by trade. It's not my day job, but it would be fun to have my own project. And I have a bunch of renovations that I'm going to be doing in my house. So if you guys want to see that, let me know and maybe I'll eventually do a vlog about that. But this video is about cheap fragrances that smell expensive. So I think I have 10 or 11 here. They're not in any particular order. So most of these are under $30 Canadian and they are just really nice cheap fragrances that smell expensive. And I'm going to go through all of them. The first one that I want to talk about is this, and I've never heard anyone talk about this, but this is Oscar de la Renta and it's called Midnight Amber. Now, this obviously isn't season appropriate because we're in spring heading into summer, but this smells a lot like like it's a beautiful rose oud first. Let me say that. I don't even need to spray this right now because it is quite strong and I've worn it a couple times. It does have decent longevity. It lasts a good six to eight hours and I purchased this for $20 Canadian. I purchased this at Shoppers Drug Mart and it smells a little bit similar to Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. It's a very soft Oud in here. It's not one that is intimidating. It's not one that's heavy or too medicinal. It's quite subtle and I don't know why they call it Midnight Amber because it's really more of a rose Oud scent. But this one is a really nice one to check out, especially for $20. You really can't go wrong. And this is such an underrated house. They actually do have really good fragrances, really terrible bottles in my opinion, but really quite good fragrances and you can usually find these on discount at any local shop like our local um pharmacy in canada is called shoppers drug mart and they'll have like a clearance rack guys do you know what i'm talking about the one that you walk in and it's 19.99 it's like a whole shelf of discount fragrances that's where i found this and like a couple other oscar de la renta fragrances which i'm happy with all of them so yeah that's oscar de la renta midnight amber and if you're interested in a rose oud check that one out the next one is Hugo Boss Deep Red. This one was a love when I was in high school and it's a really sexy like vanilla blood orange scent. I've used a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see but I've already used a bit. This can also be found for between 20 and 30 dollars. I love how this smells. It's a really interesting combination of vanilla and citrus and the, the effect that this creates is actually really unique. I haven't smelled a fragrance like this. It's very, very sexy. It is actually a really nice, seductive, sexy scent without being too heavy, without being too sweet. It's really soft. Not in that it's a soft projection. It actually projects quite well, but the scent isn't sharp, isn't very imposing. It's a... It's a very likable scent, so I definitely recommend that you guys check out Hugo Boss Deep Red. I wouldn't wear this in the spring and summer. I would definitely say it's a fall-winter. Same thing with the first one that I talked about. These are fall-winter scents, but very versatile as well. Like, definitely office-friendly. Just a really beautiful fragrance. So, yeah, that's Deep Red Hugo Boss. The next one is a Bath & Body Works fragrance, and it's called Into the Night. This is a newer release from Bath & Body Works. I bought this in my Black Friday haul, which I did a video on, so I'll link it up here. And this one smells really sweet. Berries with amber and jasmine. Those are the notes, but to me, this smells like this candy that I used to eat when I was a kid. It's called, I think it's called Mamba. I'm gonna show you a picture up here. It's like a, almost like a starburst kind of like chewy candy, the raspberry flavored one. That's what this smells like to me. I don't know why, the raspberry is really mostly what I smell in here. It's, very, it's a very sweet, candy-esque, but not cheap-smelling fragrance. They actually did a really good job with this. I'm not always a fan of Bath & Body Works. 
This one's really, really pretty. It's quite useful. It's playful. It's a great date night scent. It, I actually would probably wear this in the spring too. I've worn this recently and it's already getting kind of warm for Canada. It's 15 degrees Celsius. So woohoo, it's super warm. So yeah, I've been wearing this and in the evenings and it's really pretty and it's very comforting. It's a really nice, sweet, pretty fragrance. It doesn't smell cheap. It actually smells quite expensive. It actually reminds me a little bit of scents along the line of maybe Miss Dior, like something between Miss Dior and La Vie Belle, but not as obnoxious as La Vie Belle. I'm sorry, I really don't like La Vie Belle. This is just along those like lines, but doesn't smell like it. So check that out if you're interested in a nice sweet berry scent. And yeah, I actually did get a couple compliments on that one. So it obviously does project a reasonable amount and it smells really nice to people around you. And I do find that I can smell it on myself. So I imagine the projection is quite good. Longevity on that one is pretty good as well. Like I could smell it for a good five hours, which for Bath and Body Works is very reasonable. The next one is called Ragba by Latafa and this one I purchased on eBay. It came from India and it was 30 Canadian dollars. This is a unisex fragrance and it's a beautiful sweet oud with vanilla. It's very very pretty and it smells like an expensive oud fragrance. There's not much more to say about it than that. If you like a good oud, this is not a super imposing oud. This is a good introductory oud. I really like this. I don't even need to spray it because I can smell it quite well out of the cap. For the price point, the quality is really good. Longevity isn't crazy for an oud fragrance. Sometimes the oud fragrances will last you into the next day. This one I find on me lasts like a good eight hours. I've worn it to work. It doesn't have like crazy projection. So it's okay to wear to work, I find. And yeah, the quality of this is very, very good. I just, I like this. It's a nice, soft, slightly medicinal oud with some sweet vanilla. The next fragrance is from Zara and it's called Gardenia. The name is a little bit misleading because it isn't really our Gardenia dominant fragrance. I smell the Gardenia in the opening, but there's also a soft patchouli in here and there's vanilla. It's quite sweet. It is quite sweet and most of these are kind of on the sweet side, but it smells a lot like black opium but without the coffee note i don't smell the coffee note in here this is why i like this fragrance because i actually really don't like black opium i don't think i like that type of a coffee note in fragrances it just smells like i spilled a sweet coffee on myself that's all i can think about maybe because i'm really clumsy and i actually do spill a lot on myself which is super embarrassing but yeah, it just smells like a sweet like frappuccino has been spilled on me. This, that's what that's what black opium smells like. This one doesn't have that coffee note and it makes everything better. And it's a really, really pretty scent and it's very affordable. I think this little bottle was $11 Canadian. It's really, really nice. It projects really well. Um, I've gotten compliments on this one as well from a friend at my dance studio. So... Yeah, obviously it's a likable scent and it projects a reasonable amount. I do find that it actually lasts quite long. I got about six hours out of it. I'm talking about like relatively long for the price point. So obviously that doesn't, that's not considered a long longevity, but for something that costs you $11, yeah, like I'm quite happy with Zara fragrances. Even more than Zara fragrances, I like Banana Republic. I've mentioned this a bunch of times and I'm gonna just talk about it forever because they are out of this world, good quality, amazing fragrances. And I can't believe that they're so underrated and not enough people really talk about them. They're not as popular as they really deserve to be. So this one is one that I don't think I've mentioned before and this is Gardenia and Cardamom. And this is a gorgeous spring and summer fragrance. This is actually a gardenia dominant scent and it's very vacation-esque. It's very fresh, not in a suntan lotion way. It does smell like quite an expensive gardenia and white floral scent. The cardamom note in here is quite subtle, but it's there. And the way that those, those two notes combine is quite unique. I know that there are supporting notes in here as well but I don't know what they are. There may be a little bit of soft woodiness, like maybe some kind of cashmere or something like that. Maybe a tiny bit of citrus in the opening. But other than that, it is definitely a gardenia dominant scent and it's beautiful. It's very creamy, it's very smooth and very sensual. And 
I will be wearing this a lot in the spring and summer as well. It's just a feel-good fragrance. It makes you feel like you're on a getaway. It's just, it's very, very good. I actually bought this on fragranceby.ca. I don't know why, but Banana Republic doesn't sell these in stores. Not that we can go into stores now anyway. For some reason, online stores have this, but Banana Republic doesn't have this. It doesn't have it on their website. Not the last time I checked. And... I've seen this on Max Aroma and I've seen this on fragranceby.ca. So I fully blind bought it and I was super happy about it. And it cost me about $30. So yeah, that one's really good. Okay, guys, one more Banana Republic. And this one I've been obsessed with for a long time. I have two backup bottles of this and I can't get enough of it. And I'm never going to stop talking about it. So don't give me a hard time. I'm going to keep talking about it because it's really good and everybody needs to try it. It's Black Platinum. This is like out of this world. Honestly, there is nothing that smells like this. I've never smelled anything like this. Something that smells remotely similar remotely is Narciso Rodriguez for her, the EDT, but barely because this is leather, like a suede leather. There's a cactus note in here. There's a certain sweetness. There's a weird, soft, metallic-y nuance. Not in a weird way, just it's amazing. Like, I imagine like myself in a leather jacket wearing this. It's a really, really gorgeous fragrance. It's edgy and it's soft at the same time and really, really likable, really has a niche vibe about it. I've actually never smelled anything like this. It's super unique. It smells amazing on me. The only downfall about this one is the longevity. It doesn't last all that long. It lasts about maybe three, four hours. There's been times that I've put it on not directly after a shower and it only lasted like an hour. So I was disappointed, but I do find that if I put this on clean skin, it lasts longer and this one's okay to overspray and to spray on clothing because it sticks to the fibers in the clothing and then it does last. So with this one, I have to spray it on clothing, but it's gorgeous. It's actually one of my absolute favorite fragrances, which is so silly because it's like, who would have thunk a Banana Republic fragrance would be my favorite fragrance, but it is. And I have two backup bottles and the backup bottles that I got were like on clearance. So I don't, I don't think it's been discontinued. I know you can still find this online and I will link everything in the down bar below for you. But I got the two additional bottles for like $23 each. And yeah, it's just an amazing, amazing scent. So check that out. That's Black Platinum from Banana Republic. And this is a unisex scent. I think this will work really well on men as well. The next one I have to warn you is an absolutely hideous bottle, but the scent is good. It's a, like, I think it's a really atrocious bottle. It's, it's really, really bad. Excuse my nails. Everybody don't mind me. It's just, it's the self-isolation. I can't get them done. So yeah, this, the worst, ugliest bottle I've ever seen in my life, but it, the scent is really pretty and it's like a green very hyacinth dominant fragrance. So if you guys like hyacinth, that's the main note that I smell in here. Very soft, soapy, green, floral, completely in, going in a different direction than all the other ones that I've mentioned. And this smells very remotely like Dior Poison Tendre, which is discontinued, uh, but I did have a chance to try it. I don't know why I'm holding this in such a weird way. I don't know how to hold this thing. It's, it does smell quite similar and I don't need to spray it because I can smell it quite well out of here. It's a really pretty soapy green floral. If you guys like that, check this out. It's quite classic. It's elegant and the opening is very, very soapy, but that passes and it just settles into a really elegant smelling feminine floral fragrance. If you guys like the scent of hyacinth, it's very hyacinth dominant. Think of fragrances like also just the hyacinth note reminds me a little bit of what's in Van Quatre Fabourg by uh, Hermes. Not that they're similar fragrances, but just that note in here smells like that. And the brand of this, I don't think I even mentioned, is Rasasi. Uh, I think it's an Arabian brand and it's called Romance. As far as I know, I don't think it's a dupe of anything, but it is quite an enjoyable fragrance for spring. I don't know if I'd wear this in the summer, but for spring for sure, because it makes you think of like fresh new like budding trees like fresh things sprouting out of the ground and just spring and new life and freshness and happiness it is actually a really really pretty uplifting fragrance so that that one's really nice and finally a fragrance that i've mentioned a couple times ariana grande cloud aka the cloud 
This is a very loose cloud. Be careful with this. It also smells really bad. Don't be put off by this. Don't smell the, the bottle in the cloud because this is a really like cross contaminating scent and it smells really, really gross. It smells like cheap plastic toys from the dollar store and it has that very weird chemical plastic smell and it's bendy. So I don't know what blend of poison this is, but it smells really bad. The, the fragrance itself is really pretty. I like it. It's a marshmallowy kind of sweet, cotton candy-esque and coconutty. Very, very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Curtijan. I mentioned it before. If you let that, I will spray this one actually because it doesn't smell that strong out of here. It doesn't smell as luxurious and expensive as Baccarat Rouge 540, but it does smell very similar to it. The coconut note does eventually fade and initially I found the coconut note a little bit off-putting and I didn't see the similarity between this and Baccarat Rouge 540 but once the fragrance settles it really does smell similar and it is a really pretty kind of like bougie smelling it's like Baccarat Rouge 540 with a cheapy kind of coconutty fruity twist to it you know what I mean it's not as satisfying it's not a hundred percent dupe it just has a very similar quality to it and I do really like it. It smells not like a typical celebrity fragrance. It is a really, really good fragrance for the price. I got this plus a little tiny mini bottle that came in the pack for $30, which definitely get it if you can find it on sale. But even when it's not on sale, I think it's like $60, which is still okay, but I would aim for getting it on sale. And most of the fragrances that I've mentioned can be purchased on sale. So don't go and buy them for full price, but they're all available at online retailers and on Amazon for around the $30 mark. I will link everything down below for you guys. Please let me know if you know any amazing cheapies that smell expensive. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Bye.